All right, we back. We back. We back. Y'all know how we get down. It's time for another Tom McDonald reaction. This one is titled Heroes. I don't know what this is really about, but if I had to guess, I'm pretty sure it's about, you know, the heroes of the world. You know, the moms, the dads, the hardworking people. You know, the people that wake up every morning busting their ass just to put food on the table, you know, pay the bills and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that's what he's aiming at. And I can't wait to hear this, y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all click that bell on if you want to. But before we get into this reaction, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, RDS, and let's go. And much love to Hangover, Gang, Hawk, Family. Let's do this. There's too many songs about diamond teeth and gold chains. Too many rappers who still glorify gangs. There's way too many rhymes about codeine and women we'd like to bang. I just wanted to make a song to say thanks. Oh, There's too many songs about diamond there's too many songs about diamond teeth and gold chains Too many rappers who still glorify gangs There's way too many rhymes about codeine and women we'd like to bang I just wanted to make a song to say thanks I was just saying this shit the other day with some co-workers I mean, I get it, you know, you, you want to rap and talk about shit like that But do we have to constantly hear some of you rappers out there you know, rap about other shit. We don't always got to hear about bling. We don't always got to hear about motherfuckers getting shot or how thug you are. You know, rap about something that the children can listen to. The children can learn from. Y'all don't always got to be thugs, you know what I'm saying? Show these young kids. Because you a rapper doesn't mean you got to be ignorant. For real, that's what we need. We need some positive... You know, music coming our way because of these kids that's coming up today. More than ever, they need it. More than ever. For real. That's, that's my opinion on things, y'all. Thank you to the cops who really trying to make the world a better place. Risking their lives to keep a man they never even met safe. They ain't trying to kill your kids or lock their father away. They got families who need food on their plates. And thank you to the firefighters. Whenever I hear sirens, I pray. It takes a special kind of man to run toward all the flames. When we see smoke and we need help, the fire can't be contained. They running in while everybody runs away. And y'all might see my daughter running up in here. I got her in the tub right now. She's having fun. Cold water. Cause it is hot as Fuck in Minnesota right now. I got two fans going on in this room. That's what y'all hear in the background, the fan. I had to turn one of them off because it's facing me. If I turn that on right now, it'd be directly towards uh, why I'm uh, reacting. And that's all y'all are hearing in the background. So I had to turn that one out. But I couldn't turn them both off because it's hot than a motherfucker, y'all. So I apologize. And I apologize if my video not as crisp. I still haven't figured that out, y'all. If y'all can hit me up in the comments and let me know how to make my video perfect... I would thank y'all away and thank you to the soldiers fighting for us flying way overseas ain't never met you but i love you because you're dying for me i'm enjoying my freedom and i know freedom ain't free when the anthem plays i don't take a knee and thank you to the truckers the janitors and the average people the ones holding the jobs that will damage your ego the ones who do the most and in return they get zero screw what anyone says y'all are here you know that's why with the knee thing I was with Colin Kaepernick when he did it, I, but I was also against it because you got so many heroes out here who lost their lives. Then you still got people who have families and they have to serve in their country. To me, bending the knee is an insult, not just to America. It's just an insult to the you know the people who put their lives on the line, all the lives that were lost for this country. You know, a lot of people went over there because that was the best option as far as you know taking care of their families. They had to do something. A lot of people doesn't have, you know, they don't have that privileged life. They can't, you know, sit back and be like, let's go bad this, let's go bad that. They got to earn that shit. So, you know, I was against the, uh, you know, bending the knee. I'm sorry. I was. But I was also, uh, you know, Colin Kaepernick fan. And it, it just, it was just a hard thing, you know what I'm saying? So I just had to get that off my chest. Heroes. Everyday people. They know who they are. They aren't superstars, and they don't fight evil. They gotta do the hours. 
with no superpowers. Everyday people don't only save the world, they don't get the girl, but y'all are heroes. No, I always got the girl. I mean, I had a, you know all the money in the world, but I always got the girl. Never had no problem in that department. No, I'm just messing around. Hero. Too many songs about Xanax and faces covered with tattoos And way too many asses on camera with rap dudes Too much Gucci, Louis Prada clothing trying to brand you I just want to make a song to say thank you Thank you to the paramedics coming at high speed in an ambulance Trying to get someone to breathe at the scene of an accident Covered in a stranger's blood and trying to bring them back again Their stress level's always at a maximum Thank you to the carpenters, mechanics, and the welders and plumbers Y'all are building all the roofs that we're under Swinging hammers in the pouring rain, the snow in the summer. I hope you know that I appreciate your struggle. Thank you to the nurses and doctors fighting for everyone's lives. I don't always find a cure, but I believe that you tried. The guilt of seeing someone who you tried to save die. Don't let it haunt you. Y'all bought them some time. And thank you to the priests and the pastors and the grocery store clerks. The ones who don't get thanked or paid enough for their work. Probably feel disrespected and I'm... You know, I had to give y'all that look for the priests and pastors, you know. Just a lot been going on when it comes to these priests and pastors all over the world. You don't know who you can trust when it comes to people like that. You know, all these children getting molested. I'm not saying all of them. I'm just saying that's just a big that's a big problem in the United States right now. And it's just so sad. I'm sure that it hurts, but let me tell you, y'all are heroes for sure. Everyday people, they know who they are. They aren't superstars, and they don't fight evil. They gotta do the hours with no superpowers. Everyday people don't always save the world. They don't get the girl, but y'all are heroes. Heroes. You don't need a mask and a cape. Don't lose sleep wondering if humanity. I'm sorry, uh, Tom. You could not play Batman. You, you just ain't got it, my dude. You know, I'm a fan. I love you, but now you ain't got it, my dude. <laughs> Be safe. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. You don't gotta fly to the moon. Don't need x ray sight to see the hero in you. Whoa, oh. whoa, oh. Everyday people, they know who they are. They aren't superstars, and they don't fight evil. They gotta do the hours with no superpowers. Everyday people, don't always save the world. They don't get the girl, but y'all are heroes. All right, great, great, great song, Tom. A lot of people out here who wake up or work overnight like I do, we needed to hear something like that. You know, we get up, we work, we bust our ass, paycheck to paycheck, which is not the greatest thing in the world when you have to live paycheck to paycheck, for real. It's hard, y'all. It, it, it's a hard life. It's hard out here. If you're really out here living it, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And all you people out there that know what I'm talking about, hit me up in the comments. Let me know, you know, how hard it is for you. You know, what you do for a living. You know, it, it's just crazy that you got these big time athletes. And you know, think about these athletes. People are like, well, he deserves that. He deserves it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I respect these athletes, what they out there doing. But they playing a sport. They playing a sport. I get it. They the best in the world. But the best in the world don't deserve no fucking 10, 10 year, $700 million, you know, million dollar contract. The best in the world don't deserve no five year, $300 million contract. I'm sorry. And then they complain. Or don't want to uh, take pay cuts to let, you know, feed other motherfuckers on the team. Or bring in other people. Let them get money too. That shit really gets to me. I know a lot of people are like, well, you ain't in that. You don't know exactly how. To. I'm telling y'all, if that was me, I would not care about signing. As long as I, I can live healthy, a healthy life, I'll fucking sign a 10 year, $10 million contract. Million dollars a year. And I'll be good with that. I know, you know, taxes is a motherfucker. You know, you got to pay for your living, you know, family. But that's still a lot of money. 
And you got these motherfuckers complaining over that. And, you know, I just see, you know, motherfuckers busting their ass every day. We can barely get fucking a, barely get a raise. And when we get a raise, it's not even a lot. But you got these motherfucking uh, celebrities and these motherfucking athletes getting paid all this money to play a sport. I'll never be good with that. Never. It ain't hating. Pay the motherfucking uh, regular people this type of money. Like pick, like all these companies, like how you paying the big time players all the money, then you got the low class players make the average, just like that's how it should be at a job. Your top performers should get paid. Your top performers at the job should get paid the most money. Then your regular motherfuckers, of course, make their little money, but also still give them bonuses, nice little raises. I know you can't go bankrupt in a company. You got to pay how you can pay. But that's how I believe it should be. The top motherfuckers in that field should get, get paid the most money. Like, say you got a, I'm just throwing this out there. You got a McDonald worker. Say you got the best McDonald worker. He's, he or she has been a best McDonald worker for the past four or five years. Get that motherfucker a hundred thousand dollar bonus. It ain't gonna hurt McDonald. It ain't gonna hurt the McDonald franchise pocket. I think all companies should start doing that. What do y'all think about that? Do y'all agree with that? But thank you, Tom. We also needed that, man. I'm I'm really happy about that. About what you released. A lot of the, a lot of people needed to hear that shit. So thank you. Much love to Hog Family Hangover Gang. And as always, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Until next time, peace, love, and. Deuces.